Father God, we yeah. thank you that Jesus, he is Lord of all. Yeah. He is the Lord of all of our lives here, Father Amen. God. And I thank you that you're protecting each and every soul here, Father yes, God. Lord. And I pray that each of us can know you spiritually on a whole different level, God. That you overwhelm us with your spirit, God. I pray that this bland Christianity can yeah. leave and that we can yes. know you on a higher level, Father Man. God. Show us the purpose that you have yes. for us, Father God. Show Lord. us the way. Show us the path. Yes, Lord. Allow us to walk straight towards you, God. And I pray that our identity is found in Christ and not in anything else, Father. And as we sing the next song, I pray that your spirit overwhelms us. Yes, Father. And you fill us with the Holy Spirit. In Amen. Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Really 
Okay, so it's you. You guys are here this morning, and I just wanted to go back to that initial question: Who made the breakfast this morning? No, honestly, the Lord is here. A lightning might come down today. Who did? Who did that? Truthfully, Rebecca, Nati. I can I can believe that he's a chef. Hosanna. All right. So you guys gonna help? But okay, because there is a devotional to win for your man. We'll provide the devotional. You provide the Starbucks for Hosanna between Rebecca and Nathan. Hopefully, it's all truth. Uh, so, what did you make? Uh, no, no. You need a little bit more. Uh, uh, uh. Go, go. That's good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Hosanna. So, what did? Let's hear it, Nathan. What did you make? Yeah, I'm not taking cereal. Oh. oh, oh, I'm gonna ask right here about that. Oh, uh, hey. oh, he's got the picture. Let me see. What? That's so cool. Good, good for you. God bless you. It's not, it's not Google. All right. Oh, that is so cool. The final three. Put your hands together. Uh, let's walk. No, no, we did three. I, I say three. Okay, Danny, what did you make? Let's hear it. What did you make? Okay. Okay. Right. I cooked up some pancake batter with some bananas. Right. Oh, I'm and sorry. I called up my mothers. We made an omelet. What? Is it a make it? Did you yeah. want this? Yeah. 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 Did you want it? He just went the dishes. All right. So the three finalists. The three fi Okay. Okay. So you guys, who would vote for Nathan? How many? All right. Let's turn it down now. Now, Rebecca. Who's gonna vote for Rebecca? Guys, it's not on friendship. It's not based on friendship. Rebecca, Rebecca. Woo! You have my vote. How many gonna vote for Hosanna? Alright. I'm sorry to say the winner is Nathan Minion. Come in here and say your mom. Oh yeah, alright. Alright, Nathan. I know he's a chef. There you go. You guys can fight over it. I called earlier. Donnie didn't say anything earlier. Starbucks gift, you get it. You get it. All right, put your hands together for Rahel. She gets to win. God is so good. Can we just pray? Anybody, can you guys close that door? It's, get, it's getting cooler now, right? All right. Okay, but about why we should rise up and call her blessed. Why we should honor our mom. But before we do that, let me just pray. Father, we just thank you. We thank you for the reason I like you. You're so awesome, Lord God, for your love and kindness. Uh, Lord God, that we feel it in this room. Thank you for the uh, shouts of joy in this room, the love that they are, the children are showing toward their moms. And I, I thank you for everybody who made breakfast for their mom today and those who couldn't because they want to make up for it during lunch. Father, in Jesus' mighty name, may you be through everything we will say and do today. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. And everybody say it. Amen. 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 That is good. You know, so, well, uh, well, I don't have to testify about me. Sharon told you, told you it all because I had to get that out of the way. If I'm going to stand here and hold everybody accountable, I had to get up and do it. Get ready for today's message as well as don't miss on that uh, breakfast. 
So, I'm fascinated with the story of Mother's Day. Mother's Day story started about one, one uh, maybe over 100, 103 years ago. Uh, it started with a young man, a woman called Anna Jarvis. You can Google it later on, don't do it now. This women were so impacted by her mom and after her death this is in early 1900s 1905 after her death she advocated wrote, wrote letters and stuff to the president uh, for it to be a specific day to honor moms she took her you know her time she was so impacted by her mom and she said what could i do her mom passed away and she said you know what we want to set a day to honor moms and that's why this day today i don't want it to be just we've been re we've been getting a lot of the word of god being fed but i want to highlight moms today okay from the word of god of course one one or three years ago she started a young woman I don't know how old she was, but she started a global movement, a global movement to set a day to bless moms. Her name is Anna Jarvis. I hope that you find inspiration in what she did to just do it within your own household to honor mom today, right? So uh, 1905, different parts of the world do it differently, uh, but uh, you know, here, this is the day. Many, in many places, this is the highest uh, gift bowl, flower bowl, card bowl, one of the highest. Uh, it's, it's up there, Mother's Day. And so, but this young girl started in West Virginia. It's, it, can you imagine? One person can make a difference every year. I know it's business, money making, but her intention was incredible. It was to honor moms and, and what they have done. And so each one of us can talk about our moms. And, and so you, we can't just honor them enough. It's not just a day today. Honor them because of, uh, you, but by loving them unconditionally. To love moms unconditionally. Because, you know, I don't know if you guys seen a, a, a sign, a bumper sticker sign that says in the car, uh, did you give your child or a kid a hug today? I think, I think I would argue that there should be one for moms. And that says, did you give your mom a hug today? And it should be in every teenager's door, uh, door but, uh, you know, where it says don't disturb, it should be right there. Did you give your mom a hug? Did you let her know how much you love her? You know, sometimes we take it for granted that we, I, 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 for me, of course, I take it for granted that my mom knows that I love her. And that, you know, it's not me, she doesn't need to know about it, but I'm wrong, right? It's kind of like this uh, bad example husband said once. Uh, his, his wife said, come on, you don't tell me you love me anymore. You just don't, don't mention it anymore, you don't love me. And he said, yeah, listen, I, I told you at the altar, if I change my mind, I would let you know. That's what he said, he was so rude, right? Ex him, ex that guy. We have to be intentional about expressing our love to our moms. They need it, they need it. I, I, I get puzzled when I see Sharon, just kind of when Faith would take a, a point to acknowledge her, love her, or uh, it, just, it just makes her day. And so, yes, they know it, but when you verbalize it, when you exercise that, as a, a, a daughter of a king, and it just makes, makes their day. So make a point, not only today, but every day, right? We need to understand moms. They go through a lot. They go through a lot in your childhood. They go, you know, they're the cook, they're the chef, they're the professionals, they're also breadwinners now. They go there, they're not just house, uh, you know, housewives. They do work and even those housewives, can you imagine what they go through? They're soccer moms, they're, you know, referee between siblings and, and you name it, they do all that and they need our understanding. We need to be understanding of our moms. So today, we rise up and we call them blessed. Today is about rising them up to, 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 you know, to really think and ponder, you know what, my mom is blessed, she's so loving. Just set aside, all right? We reclaim what's out there the holy day and, and, and so we make a point even, what does it look like for a Christian mom to be your mom? You are so blessed to have a Christian mom who is so loving, who is in love with Jesus. In return, she can flow with the, the Father's love, she can love you. And so with that, instead, you know, we want to honor them today for all that they do. And uh, my, my text, my, my, my passage is coming from uh, Proverbs 31. We're going to read from verse 11 up to, until the end. And I've asked some youth to help me read. And they're going to wish moms 
uh, Happy Mother's Day. While they do that, I'll make sure I'll share this video with them. So with that, I think uh, I, I, you know who you are. I'm gonna start with the one and only Eli is gonna read, and then Paul. Yeah. Uh, the uh, verse that I'm gonna be reading is Proverbs uh, 31, verse 10 to 12. So it's who can find a virtuous and capable wife? She is more precious than rubies. Her husband can trust her, and she will greatly enrich his life. She brings him good, and not harm, all of the days of her life. Um, so, uh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> 31, 13 to 15, and it says, She finds wool and flax and busily spins it. She is like a merchant ship, bringing her food from afar. She gets up before dawn to prepare breakfast for her household and plan the day's work for her servant girls. I'm going to call it mother. Proverbs 16 to 18, and it says, uh, She considers a field and buys it with the fruit of her hand, and she plants a vineyard. She gardens her loins with strength and strengthens her arms and perceives that her merchandise is good. Her candle goes not out by night. <clears throat> her hands are busy spinning thread, her fingers twisting fiber. She extends a helping hand to the floor and opens her arms to the beauty. She has no fear of winter for her household, for everyone has warm clothes. Happy Father's Day! And supplies sashes for the merchants. Strength and honor are her clothing. She shall rejoice in her time to come. 26 to 28, and it says, She speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction is on her tongue. She watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children arise and call her breast, blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. Many women do noble things, but he surpasses them all. Proverbs 31, verse 29 through 31. Many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Yeah. Honor her for all that her hands have done, and let her works bring praise at the city gate. Uh, on behalf of BEC Youth, I wish all mothers happy Mother's Day. Yeah. As that passage said it very well, it described. If you read the whole, the entire chapter, and it doesn't say anything about the father. So the only thing it mentions about the father is that because of her, because she did this and did this and did that, he gets the best seat when he comes to the city because of all that she does. And and so you know, when, I went, when I was a new Christian, I'm like, why is it so much about the mother only? What about the father? They told me, uh, look it up at Proverbs 32, but there is no Proverbs 32, right? It's all, it's all about this amazing uh, godly woman. So honor her, um, you know, for all that she does, right? Her children rise up and court her, bless not only her children, but even her husband, her, you know, your dad, our fathers, praise her. They praise her, not just they call her blessed. So five reasons I want to leave you with. Very uh, short five reasons that I want to leave you why we should bless our moms. Why should we praise them today? Why should we honor them today? So the first one is mothers make a house a home. They make, uh, uh, you know, uh, this, this house, they make it a cozy home. And so professionals and engineers and uh, you know, construction workers and uh, craftsmen and everybody can put up this beautiful home even uh, interior decorators I don't know if there are any they could do all that beautiful home but it takes a touch of a mom to make it feel at home it takes a touch of a mother to make it feel at home how many of you guys miss when your moms went to Ethiopia do you guys miss the house you do, right? You miss the house. So to make up for mom, many people, many moms kind of send uh, a lot of food. They actually overdo it sometimes, right? Your fridge is over one because it's a shoes that no one can feed. You know, faith, faith uh, can, it's okay if I'm not here, but when mom is not around, you know, I have to do a lot of driving to, you know, to just get by for a week. There's just something about the presence of a mom. So. A place, she makes a house a, pro, a, a place of provision, a place of unity, a place of comfort, 
a place of safety, a, a place of prayer. She makes it a place of serenity. When mom is around, there's just there's this, you know, we're okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Uh, even that little skinny mom. I, I, my mom was the, the skinniest mom you could ever meet, but she was wise. She ran a tight ship. We were like 10 growing up. We were eight, but 10 siblings, same father, same mom, right? It was busy and my dad was a businessman. Uh, he was in Addis a lot of times, but my mom, I'm telling you, be it uh, in academic excellence, everything she just run a tight ship everything so uh, I, uh you know my moms are amazing they get up in the morning the bible says here in this passage we see she rises up early and makes sure everyone had food to eat everyone and like this this woman is amazing right everyone including the husband the kids they have breakfast to eat and then also some more to take it to school uh, uh yeah so even especially in 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 in, in here in, uh, in north america they also have to have some food for the cats and the the dogs and, and everything you know they are responsible for everything i'm telling you i don't know mom used to annoy me she gets up really early she used to annoy us why why can't we just sleep a little longer she would get up at five and she was the last person to go to bed so she deserves to be honored i honor my mom but all also your mom today your moms are amazing what they do they they get up to to pray when they when they get up to pray the devil is even saying oh my god she is up she is up i'm in trouble i'm in trouble she's going to fight for her kids she is up you know to believe for you to uh, not only uh, you know spiritual but to nourish you also in the natural so moms are amazing so she because she makes a house of home praise her today all right